Hi everybody! This time I'm going to show you how to make a house out of this cardboard box. And it won't be any ordinary house, it will be a beautiful modern wooden Scandinavian style house like this. Check this out. Isn't this beautiful? Got balcony there, got windows, all nice colors. Oh, very stylish. Look at the transformation from this to this. Do you think it's possible? Well, pay attention, and this is what you're gonna need. Uh, a box! Small and it's a bit square, but you can use any type of box. Some brushes, paints, glue. You're gonna need a ruler, something to cut with, pencil, markers, uh, one of those uh, filler mask thingies, a, um, a spatula to apply the filler. You're gonna need some, uh, some tape. Uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, well, um, oh, uh, wait, ah, I gotta go and get something. <laughs> yeah, here, a little bit of extra cardboard in addition to the box and some wooden sticks like this. I will show you the details in a bit. So let's get started. Okay. I start with cutting away the two uh, flaps on the sides. So I cut away and the one on the other side. I divide the flap in half, so it's 18 and a half, so that's nine and uh, two and a half, about there. So from this corner up to the mark, the other corner. And the same on the other side. Then I cut it. Turn the box and cut again. So now we need the rooftop. That's where I bring in an extra sheet of cardboard. I have made a mark here uh, that is uh, in the middle. Fold this in the middle. There. See how it fits. Oh yes. Beautiful, very good fit. And that's because of course I measured to make the right size for this cardboard in advance. Okay, so let's glue it on. So I put glue along the edges, all the edges here. Actually, it's really good to have a few uh, pieces of uh, tape ready so that you, when you stick on the, the roof, uh, the tape is ready to uh, stick it on and hold it in place. Stick it on there, on with some tape. And as you tape, make sure that the cardboard is in the right position. It should be straight here. Wipe up the glue. Uh, make sure you've uh, checked all the sides. So I need some more tape. Perhaps even a bit of tape on, on this side as well. Now, then you leave this to dry and when it's dry, it will look like this. This is the dry one. So now I can take the tape off. Right, now we are ready to trim the edges, like this for instance. Here it's supposed to be totally uh, even, and, and here too. So we will get our knife out, make a long blade, and then we trim the edges. So here we go. Put the knife along the side and then trim carefully. Yes, nice and neat. Now we are ready to draw on the windows and the balcony. I measure here about 2 cm. Make a little line. And then I measure about 8 cm. And about 6 down. And back. 
and the same on this side. So that's the balcony and then the windows. 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 and 2. A line right across, one line straight down the middle. So now we have the balcony, we have a nice triangular window up uh, on top here and then we're going to have another window coming down here. So I measure again from that corner of that window as wide as the balcony there then I quite fancy a couple of windows down here as well uh, maybe three windows but they should be tall and slim I feel 1 cm from the bottom now that's the foundation of the house and then I put in the windows roughly about here Quite long and slim window, very nice, elegant and modern. On the same level, the same size, I will do a couple of windows over here as well. Now, when you design a house like this, it's really up to you where you put the doors, the windows, the balcony. It's all, you know, flexible. You can put them anywhere you like and as many uh, as you like and what kind of shape you like. So fill up your house, could be here, could be here, anywhere with the sort of details uh, that you want. And some of them you can cut out and some of them you can just paint. So let me start with cutting out the, um, the balcony. I make a cut along here, nice and careful. And one along here. And then I push this in simply by doing this. Look at this. Push it in here and then it collapses a bit and then I push here on the corner all the way in there see now we have the start of a great balcony right here and then we need a door so on this side i'm going to draw the door so i measure about two and a half two and a half and about four cm wide about this tall roughly and then a little step up from the, um, the foundation. There. Next to it, I would like to have a nice little window. Then I cut them out. Nice. Hello, anybody home? Hey. <laughs> okay, then the window. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now it's starting to take shape. Look at this. It almost looks like a real house. Now it's time to fit on the floor onto the uh, to the hole in the balcony. So I'm using um, that flap that I cut away just now. Try to figure out how big it should be. First of all, I think I will have it flush with the with the wall here. So I make a mark here, so it goes out this way. But I think I would like to have it sticking out a bit on this side, about this much. So that's the size that I need. So basically I cut this way and I cut that way and that's the floor for the balcony. So I have one that is pre-cut over here like this. And it's even a bit um, slanted uh, here to fit the shape of the cardboard inside there. You see? Like that. So, let's glue it on. It's very handy to have a, a little brush to uh, wipe up the glue and also 
uh, in the areas where it's hard to reach for your fingers, like in here. And then I add a little bit of tape. It needs to be a perfect fit. Well, almost perfect. And now we are ready to fit on these uh, trimmings, these wooden trimmings along the edge here to make the edges, edges look better. And they look like this. I have cut out of cardboard two little, uh, you know, um, sticks. All I need to do now is to put some glue along the edge here and the other side. Then I fit this one on. It needs to be uh, flush with the, with the rooftop. It takes a few seconds for the glue to sort of um, set a bit so that it sticks better. And then I can trim this off. And use it for the other side. Now. When all this is dry and I have trimmed the edges, added all the windows and the doors and everything I need, I will have a house looking like this. Look at this. Here I have a, a window in the, um, on the, uh, in the attic here. Look at this. I added windows here and here. It's nice windows on this side. Here, all finished. This one, totally stuck on, looking very good. See here, the door actually goes in like this, so there's a step here. So let me show you how to make this. I need to make one of these that can fit inside here. So I use the, the flap again, a piece this big, just a little bit bigger than the size of the, of the door. And then I need these things on the side. Two strips of equal size, like that. One, two. Okay, so then I cut that out. And I glue them like this, so that I get one of these. Let's glue this inside. This is how I do it. I put glue along the edge here. I take a bit of tape and I fold it like this and I stick it on like that. See, now I have a handle so I can maneuver this one. So I stick it in, maneuver it around and then pull it back on. I hold it there for a few seconds for the glue to start setting. And if I want to, I can add a bit of extra tape there. Now I need to wait for it to dry. The next thing is to make a smokestack and the smokestack looks like this and it goes on here. Now let me show you how to make it. You will need a piece of cardboard uh, of uh, well almost any size. You have to fold it with the stripes not against it. So okay so make a fold another fold, a third fold, and then see how it fits together. All right, roughly like that. You see, this one is a bit too big. You make a cut down this side. Try again. A mm, little bit more, a little bit more. Yes, perfect. Now you see this thing sticking out? That doesn't matter, we'll fix that later. So first, let's glue it. Then we need some tape. Stick it together in so that it forms a square here. And then we tape it. And now this needs to dry. Peel off the tape and then I trim the edge there, nice, and now I can check 
just how big, how tall do I want this to be? So maybe about that tall. So I cut to the angle of the of the roof. Uh, yeah, I think it's very nice and straight. Then we can glue it on. Lots of glue. Stick it on, make sure it's straight. We could put on a little piece of tape as well, just to make sure that it doesn't fall down while drying. Now in the meantime, let's look at the door. See, now we can remove uh, this uh, handle bit here and we can add uh, the little step. I have cut here a tiny little uh, piece that fits in here quite uh, beautifully. At least that's what I think. Uh, yes, it does. Okay, so now let's glue this in. And we push it in there. And then I use my brush again and I wipe off a bit of the excess glue. Look at this edge, look at this edge, look at, look at that edge edges here everywhere there are these edges that doesn't look too good you see before we start painting we may want to fix these edges you don't have to because you we can go straight to paint now but then this will look quite rough and not so neat and nice so it's up to you how uh, good you want this finish so uh, since I want a really really nice finish I'm going to get my um, filler mask out and then uh, teach you how to fill the edges. You will need one of these. Uh, you take a little bit at a time, like that, and then you fill the, uh, the edges. Look at this. Try to fill all the little holes. Then you move on. Now this filler mass is the same as you use when you do home decor and uh, you know renovating houses and stuff like that. That is just you know a painter's tool to um, to fill little holes and gaps and cracks and make everything look nice at the end. Now when you have filled up all the edges and all the holes. You will end up with a house looking like this. Check this out. I have filled inside here, even on the smokestack here, on the edge there, all over the top. See here? Just about everywhere except for underneath here. This I don't think is uh, necessary. Also, you need to sand because when this is dry, you will get these rather rough edges. I'll show you some. You see, this roughness is not good for a painting. So you need to sand it. So you get your sandpaper out. And that side. Because now you get a nice sharp edge here and it's totally smooth and clean on the sides. Now, when you've done the sanding and of course, uh, dusting, then you are ready to paint. So this house now is all ready to paint. And uh, we'll start with the rooftop, painting it black. So I got some black paint here and a big broad brush and uh, painting away. Now when I come to the edge, I go sort of straight out like this, making sure that I fill all the little, little uh, cracks as I go. For the inside, I will need a smaller brush so I can reach inside here. Then I'm planning white on the edge around the window. So I just go straight out like this, not into it, but just straight out. Then I would like uh, these um, panels to be painted black as well. So I carefully go down, making sure I don't go underneath. Then I'll do the floor on the balcony gray. 
Next, I do a bit of uh, blue on the windows. Here I will need to switch to a smaller brush as well to get the, uh, the edges really nice and neat. When you've been painting for a while and you have wet paint here and here and here and here, it's good to uh, leave it for a while so that the house dries up uh, and then you continue because or else you will get paint everywhere on your fingers and you will smear it and it won't be good. So, um, so I'm going to now uh, let this dry for a little uh, bit. Now, bear in mind that the colors I choose, uh, the design I choose for windows, doors, balcony, everything, that is all a proposal to how to you to how this house can actually look like. Your house, uh, you are free to choose whatever you like. Uh, so you know, choose your own box, your own size, your own shape, and then create your own house. This is just a guide for you to uh, to see how you can make a beautiful house out of a brown box. I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, almost dry. Then I can start with white. I go carefully around the window, carefully up to the roof, uh, making the colors meet uh, nicely on top here. It's important that you know you try to get a straight line here on top. As I get closer to the foundation here, I switch to a smaller brush so that I am sure that I don't um, get any paint down there because I want to leave that brown. Now, as you probably see, it's very patchy. The white isn't even. That's because uh, the white always needs two layers or maybe even three layers to cover the cardboard uh, perfectly. So uh, when you paint, you need to paint one coat, let it dry, paint again, and then check if it's good enough. If not, you paint it a third time, then you get it really uh, even. So I'm now gonna let this dry for a, a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, it's ready for a second layer. See now, notice the difference. All of a sudden the white start to look really uh, even and solid and the whole wall start to look really good and not patchy as, uh, as uh, it was just a second ago. Now what you can also do is to touch up a bit on the cardboard color. You see here is cardboard color, cardboard color, cardboard color. So I need to touch up a bit there. So I have now mixed a fantastic bit of cardboard color here. This color will dry a bit darker so that it will merge almost perfectly with the cardboard color. Now this uh, side of the house is dry and we can compare it to my first house. As you can see, this house is very glossy and shiny. It's because I have put some lacquer on. So now I'm going to show you how to take lacquer. This is acrylic lacquer and then add it to the house. It's very simple. Let's paint it on like that. Now it looks a bit milky uh, white at first, but as it dries, it goes transparent and it really brings out the, the brightness of the colors. It also adds a protective layer so that you can keep your house nicer and cleaner uh, and it protects it against dust and dirt. It also um, just makes it look really nice. That's the bottom line. It just makes it look better. Do you remember these sticks that I uh, showed you initially, these wooden sticks? Well, you can use any kind of sticks, straws, uh, cut the cardboard, whatever you have available. Uh, wooden sticks are really nice. Anyway, so what I do, I just uh, measure, you know, the length here and here and this little bit there. And then I make three little, um, you know, uh, uh, poles, uh, down and then I cut them and glue them all together 
uh, and then I paint them in the color that I like, which is black. I add a little bit, I dip them in glue basically, adjusting a little bit to the size, pushing it a bit to make sure it fits the balcony, mm, bending it a bit. There! And my nice modern wooden Scandinavian house is finished. Let me show you the sides. So we have the side with the door and the window here on the balcony. Then you have another window here and these are painted on. These are painted on. And, and notice how much uh, color that I have left unpainted. So it's just cardboard color, because cardboard is a really nice color. And look at how nice the white and the black and the gray and the brown and the blue uh, goes together. It's a really nice color combination. So you have this side with, you know, the bedroom windows and all. And then you have, of course, the fancy uh, living room uh, windows. Um, the window uh, that is cut out for the attic, uh, the smokestack. And uh, yes... It's all ready to uh, move in. Whoa, I gotta run and get my mother. <laughs>